Hello guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad. I'm working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. So in today's demo, we are going to see how we can use managed virtual network and private endpoints in Azure Data Factory and why we want to enable this feature in Azure Data Factory and use that one. There might be scenario that some of the source and destination which you wanted to use into your pipeline, they are not supporting public endpoint access. They are not accessed by internet. So you have to set up this virtual networks in private endpoints so that you can securely access this resources, this source and destination. So let's go ahead and set up our Azure Data Factory with this feature and see how we can access the storage, which access is disabled from internet or public network. It is only allowed by a private network. So let's go to Azure portal. So in this demo, we have one storage account which is enabled by a private endpoint. If we go into this storage account and if we see the public network access has been disabled and uh, only it is enabled by a private endpoint. So now scenario is that we have one ADF and we want to consume the data securely from that storage. So let's open our studio. And previously, when we used to go and create the link services, let's try to create the link services now for that Gen 2. And if you go, go and see the details, Softwitch Private Lake, it is in Softwitch demo. So let me select that okay, private lake. And if I test connection, it is failing. Why? Because our network settings does not allow that one. So how to connect with that storage which is enabled with private network for that we have to enable our integration runtime with managed virtual network so how to do that one so let's go ahead and see now so once we go to our integration runtime we have already a default on auto resolve integration runtime if we go in details there is no options to enable that setting but we can create a new integration runtime and if we create a new Azure hosted uh, runtime, so we have multiple options. Let's go with Azure one because we want to create with Azure. So let's say none for so that. We will enable manage network settings and uh, it will resolve automatically regions in the details. Here we have setting where we can say that now we want to enable the virtual network configuration and for that, we have to enable auth enable interactive authoring capabilities after creation. The time to leave it is uh, 60. So that is what we are going to do right now. And same thing, it will happen for the details. So let's go ahead and create. So now it will take some time uh, to fully come because it, it is right now provisioning state. IR can take 15 minutes to be ready for data flow and other things. So it will right now it is now running. So let's go to manage private endpoints and in manage private endpoint, if we go click on new, then we will have an option where we can select that what kind of source we want to correct. And then let's select it. We have selected Gen2. Now go to this one and say that into lake habit in point. Um, we can select the resources from our subscription. So it will be storage account name. And for this, we want to connect with private lake. Now let's create on click. Now, if you see it is provisioning and it will wait uh, for that. It will provision and it is required for approval process. So if we go into our endpoint now storage, and in this storage, this is the private network in a go to networking section and in private input, we will see that this is that it is coming from that factory, whatever name we have given. And this is requested by a data factory. This details. Now we have to approve it till that time. We are not going to approve. It is not going to run. So let's select this one. Let's approve this. Right. It will take one minute to Get that approval now it is succeeded provisioning succeeded approval state is pending so let's see that it will take one minute to update the details around it says that the approval state may be stayed still by a minute so we need to wait a couple of minutes 
now we can see that it is approved state now we if we go to our link services now let's select to create a new link service and if we go say that and now if we select our subscription and we select our private link and if we see that now still the connection is being failed and why it is happening because our auto resolve integration runtime is not supported that IR, right so we can go and change this network or tab tab and we can see the option here that we our network has been private network endpoint has been selected whatever we created and if we change the different one it will go from that place because there is no network connected we have not in created in point for the different legs so if we select that one there is a approval state is connected now if we test connection and then let's see what happens so that is there if we delete that let's go ahead and let's delete our in point let's see we can delete it here so if you see there into our storage it is gone it is gone from here also and if we go to link service quickly and try to see one more time gen 2 and let's select this time i network because it has managed network if we select this lake itself here is now no connection is available if we test connection that is failing so that is how we can go ahead and create from here also also is the same thing what we did from going into manage private endpoint same thing we can do it from here and that's how the private endpoint works now let's see that this was we tested this one when adf was present there is another option when you are creating a new adf that point of time also you can enable private endpoint so let's go and create a new adf let me create now if you go to networking tab we can enable managed network on default auto resolve integration runtime we did that time last time with when we created a new integration runtime now we can enable for default one and if we select this option the second one it is for self-hosted integration runtime right now we are not going with self-hosted one we are just going to see that uh, auto resolve on that azure runtime right so let's go on next and let's create this this ADF with managed network support has been created. So let's go ahead into our resource group and let's launch the studio. So if we go into manage section and integration runtime, if you see this is between manage subtype is managed by virtual network. And if we go to second one, uh, the previous one in integration runtime this was public subtype public we created with managed virtual network so now we do not have to create additional uh, ir it is into this one so if we go into link services now if we try to create link service and in gen 2 we can select the gen 2 right now interactive authoring is disabled so suppose it has managed network and we have uh, this uh, account is selected let me select the private network so right now because if we test connection this there is a button in disabled for that one because it says that enable interactive authoring in integration runtime for this one right so we have to go back and right now we cannot do any test connection and other things so let me create this managed network till that time we can see that but let me create let me try to create with same name let's create this it is still provisioning so it will take some time because we have to go and approve that one and then we can go and create that one the test connection is in a not enabled so let's let's create this one also okay and if we go into managed endpoint we created one it is right now provisioning so let's see right now provisioning is succeeded but approval state is pending so let's go back to our 
storage now if we refresh this connection we have one pending so let's approve this it will take couple of minutes to approval and then reflection it here into this adf so let's wait now we can see the approval state is approved now if we go into our linked services because we had already created this one let's go and see so now here we have already approved but still this test connection is not there so we have to enable interactive authoring if you want to test connection and other things so let's go ahead and enable that and for that we have to go to integration runtime and we have to go for uh, in this virtual network tab and we have to say that we have to enable that uh, interactive authoring now let's go to our linked services now if we see it is saying that when it is enabling in all interactive authoring it can take couple of minutes so now it is enabled now if you see test connection is also enabled and if we test connection it will be succeeded because it should go via this private endpoint so now it's connection is so if we go to ingest tab let's see that if i select gen2 if i say this one so here let me try to browse this lake i am able to see the folders and i can drill down inside that container there is no error but if i go direct to this lake because this is my azure portal is trying to read that inside that container it will give the error because you are not authorized azure portal is going via public network and our this connection is going via private network because the integration runtime we have enabled with the managed network so that is what i wanted to cover in this demo now we can use this link services in our code with this integration runtime it will copy and when copy activity or other activity is going to happen it will use this managed network with this private endpoints and it will connect to storage securely not going via public endpoints okay thank you